Okay, check this out. This is my um, DIY grow box that I have made. And I just wanted to show you what we have going here seven days after planting. Check that out here. These are petunias that I have started from seeds that I collected myself from last year's garden, seven days later. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I planted these up and how you can make your very own grow box such as this. So stay tuned. It is getting towards the third week of February here and it is time to start some of our indoor seeds. Um, I've been counting back from our last frost day, which is about mid-May, and that takes us to about 13 weeks away from then. So it's, um, it's not too early to start. I wanna try, first of all, planting some petunias. So that's what we're gonna do on today's video. Um, I have been saving petunia seeds from last fall. This is the first time I've ever saved my own petunia seeds but I took some from various colors and packaged them up here. And we're gonna see if we can get them to grow. So we are going to work with this kind of container for my petunia seeds. I'm just gonna plant them very heavily into the soil and see how they sprout. And um, from there I'll transplant them into a bigger um, container from there. So. So I'm going to be using this miracle Grow uh, seed starting potting mix for this. And I always like to uh, moisten my soil using boiling water. This is uh, just a little extra thing to do to make sure you don't end up with any, um, to kill off any maybe fungus gnat eggs that could be in the soil when you bring it in. Just to help prevent that a little bit more. I just sterilize the, the soil a little bit with this hot water. Okay, so I have collected four different varieties of petunia seeds. One was purple, one was a red and a red white petunia. Another one says mixed colors, question mark, question mark. So that's a surprise one. And another one says red mini petunias. So I'm just going to take whatever seeds I can get out of each package, spread them in these um, containers However thick they come out, we will wait and see. So let's see how much. These are the red, red, white. So some of these petunias were solid red, some were solid white, and then some were a white and red combo. Now with the seeds came a lot of uh, little fragments of the pods and stuff like that. So just going to spread this whole little batch on here and we'll see what happens. They are super, super tiny. Sometimes when you buy them in packages, they come in a pelleted form, so they're a little bigger and easier to handle, but I'm just going to go with putting them in thickly. Okay, so you probably can't see the seeds, but pretty light layer all across. I don't think I got a whole pile of seeds out of this one. So I don't know, it might not be. I'm just gonna try to get what I can out of the bag even. left one of the pods in there to dry just to see if some more seeds came out of them. I always have trouble every year picking which color of petunias I want because 
I like them all, but I usually get a variety. If I can collect seeds every year, that'll be a real nice bonus because they do get expensive when you start buying them at the nursery. There. And you don't want to cover these up with soil, so I'm just going to sprinkle a light layer of vermiculite on top of all these before we put them under the light. I just want to give them a good soaking here again. So I'll be just spraying, spritzing the tops to keep them moist. So I got some vermiculite here. I'm just going to put a light layer on there. Okay, so what I'm going to use to um, germinate these petunia seeds is this uh, easy to make DIY grow box. And I just wanted to share with you quickly how I put this together. So it could be something that uh, you could easily make for yourself. If you don't have a lot of growing space um, for indoor shelves and lighting and stuff, something simple like this, a good size Rubbermaid tub will work good for starting all your seeds. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I put this together. So basically you are lining this with tin foil with the shiny side facing outwards. I just secured it with some duct tape. And for the lid, well the only uh, technical part of putting this together is, is making this cut so it works with a clamp light. So basically you're uh, cutting a hole big enough to put the light through and then you're making a T-cut here so that the clamp can be secured through there. So I'm just going to pull it out and show you how that works. So like I said, you just need it big enough so that you can string your light through this hole. And then make a T-cut the length of your clamp light here. I just secured it with some more duct tape here. And then on the inside also, wherever I cut the tin foil, I just put some duct tape just so it doesn't kind of tear apart. So I have the light run through the hole here. <clears throat> it's kind of finicky, but if you just open up your clamp and run it down the, the slit that you have cut and then secure it at the end here. You can snap the lid on, maybe cover up this hole with a piece of uh, tin foil or something just so there's no extra light coming through. I also thought that something good to put in the bottom would be like a turkey roaster like this that I got from the dollar store. You can set it inside and it acts as a deflector, reflector of light. Plus you can just put all your seedlings in there and use that bottom water type system. So I'll probably be using this grow box for another round of seedlings and I'll show you how, how I do it with this. So I put the uh, plastic covers on each of these now. So this will act as a humidity dome and keep the moisture inside. I probably will have to come and spritz the top uh, morning and night just to make sure it stays moist. Okay, so we're ready to put our containers into the uh, grow box and I'm just going to use this turkey uh, container that I would normally use for bottom watering some seedlings. I'm just gonna flip it over so that I have give these a little elevation so that they're a little closer to the light to begin with. Okay, so we're going to put on the lid. This light will probably be about three or four inches away from the tops. I hope it's enough light for all of these. We will see with all the tin foil in there reflecting, hopefully it is enough for them to germinate. So petunias like to have um, a temperature of around 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 
four degrees Celsius to germinate. So hopefully this will create that warm um, air for them. I'm going to put it on the ground here in my basement that has floor heat. So that will act as a bit of a, a heat mat for it as well. Um, if you're you know, short on space, this is something that will easily fit in your kitchen or somewhere in your living space just up against the wall um, and won't take up a lot of space and something you can check on regularly. And these petunias will, um, should germinate um, within 5 to 15 days. So we will keep an eye on them each day. I'll give them a spritz, make sure the uh, soil stays moist and we'll come back when we start seeing some sprouts. So we are seven days um, after planting these petunia seeds and I'm very excited to see that a lot of them have sprouted and are coming along nicely. So as you can see on this one, I, I can plant it very heavy in the corner here, obviously, but I have a really good um, start coming here with all these petunias just sprouting through at the two leaf stage right now. This one's got a pretty good uh, growth going as well. The other two, um, not quite so much showing. It could be that the seeds that I planted were, I didn't plant quite as thick, but there are some green coming there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but they're coming along. So I'm going to leave them in here under the grow lights for um, another week or so. And when they get um, a little larger past that two leaf stage, I'm going to attempt to transplant them into a bigger, bigger container. So uh, stay tuned for that video. So in the meantime, I hope that you will try to make your own grow box like this. I think it works great to start your vegetables and flowers in if you don't have a lot of space. Um, this is just a good thing, easy to make, that uh, you can use to start your, uh, your outdoor plants indoors. So thank you for watching and I hope you will hit the subscribe button and leave a comment and we will see you on the next video.